Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we're looking at Rona, a berserker who tears through teams as easily as single opponents. Rona is all about getting into battle and crushing her enemies. She's able to drive her enemies from her, using her extreme close-up damage to force teams to scatter. Rona's abilities use a special resource called Blood Rage, shown beneath her health bar. This rage is generated from her attacks and abilities, as well as when she takes damage. Since she doesn't use energy, items with energy and energy regeneration instead allow her to slowly generate extra rage while she's in combat. Rona's Berserker's Fury perk allows her to attack much faster than most heroes. The damage she deals with each attack is reduced, but make no mistake, this perk substantially increases how much damage she deals over time. Rona's Into the Fray allows her to leap to a targeted location. This deals a burst of crystal damage to nearby enemies, then deals a larger burst as the ground ruptures. This ruptured ground does not continue to deal damage, but will slow enemies attempting to move across it. Into the Fray generates rage when she lands on enemies. Additionally, Rona gains a surge of adrenaline when she lands on an enemy hero, briefly reducing the amount of damage she takes from any source. This damage reduction bonus stacks, meaning she takes significantly less damage when she lands her leap on multiple enemy heroes. I recommend learning this ability at level 2, but upgrading it first and taking its overdrive. Rona's Foe Splitter allows her to strike her target with both axes, dealing weapon and crystal damage and applying weapon effects. Rona spins her axes for a moment after using Foe Splitter. During this time, she can reactivate the ability to strike a second time, dealing more damage and temporarily reducing any healing the target receives. Foe Splitter's first strike generates rage. However, the second strike consumes all of her current rage and increases in damage based on how much rage was consumed. This ability's cooldown is reduced each time Rona lands a basic attack. I recommend learning Foe Splitter at level 1, but upgrading it last. When Rona activates her Red Mist ultimate, she begins whirlwinding, dealing constant, heavy weapon damage to all enemies around her. She can move freely during this time, but it greatly reduces speed. Red Mist cannot be activated until Rona already has a lot of rage, and it consumes rage each second that it's active. The ultimate ends when Rona runs out of rage. It can also be cancelled early by reactivating the ability or by using another ability. I recommend learning and upgrading Red Mist when it's available. Take the final upgrade instead of the overdrive on Foe Splitter when your opponents are staying grouped up during teamfights. Raw weapon power items are great when you want to deal more damage with Red Mist. Serpent Mask is particularly useful as the lifesteal works on the ultimate's damage, allowing her to survive longer during combat. Attack Speed and Crit Heavy items are very good for maximizing burst damage on single targets. When picking these items up, consider taking the Overdrive on Foe Splitter instead of the final rank of her ultimate. Rona's ally, Adagio, has just been killed in the lane, and Taka is now bravely jumping into the entire enemy team. And of course, the scent of a little blood is more than enough for Rona to follow up. As she lands, take note of Rona's impact area. Without crystal items, her leap deals very little damage, but both Ringo and Glaive will need to cross the rupture if they intend to move closer to Taka. With a quick foe splitter strike, Rona finishes off the enemy crawl as Taka attempts to flee. Rona's chosen to use her Rage for her Whirlwind instead of a follow-up Foe Splitter, and for good reason. Ringo and Glaive both want to finish off Taka badly enough that they've walked directly into her ruptured ground. Even though Red Mist slows Rona, this no longer matters as her opponents are also slowed. While Rona doesn't finish them off, she's left a pretty serious dent, and she's not only allowed Taka to escape, but also kept the enemy team from pushing the lane. In this fight, Rona's initial rupture helps split Adagio's teammates off from him and allows Celeste to easily bully him away. Using both the rupture and the whirlwind to disrupt grouped up teams allows Rona to heavily influence the direction of teamfights. There's a couple other things that are important to understand both for Rona and for the people playing with and against her. Though Rona is a warrior, her damage and playstyle may feel more familiar to assassins and snipers. She shares many of the same strengths and weaknesses and, like these heroes, often needs to stay ahead on items to keep an edge on her opponents. For these reasons, Rona has fantastic synergy with strong supporting heroes that compensate for her weaknesses and allow her to get gold, such as Arden, Adagio, and Fortress. Thanks for watching the Rona Hero Spotlight. Download Vainglory free on the Apple App Store or Google Play and join us in the Halcyon Fold.